Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the mainstream movie guy. Hey guys, today we're bringing you our review for Neighbors 2. Now, Neighbors 2 is a comedy sequel, which means typically trouble. Uh, they never usually pan out as well, and quite frankly, for me, this one was still not as good as the original. Uh, it was decent, but definitely worth waiting for. So, let's go right into it. So, with this one, uh, I just don't think the girls played as good of a counter to uh, the ones that the boys did originally, and it's more so because the girls had a great purpose for this, and um, really, so they move in, you know, and they want to be the first sorority that could party, because why shouldn't sororities be allowed to party? That's stupid. But the family is in escrow right now. They need to sell their house, uh, because they've already bought a new house in a ridiculous kind of plot uh, that, you know, they don't get what escrow is, and it's just, it's insane. Uh, as an adult, you just, you know certain things and you understand certain things. So, yeah, so it's just really weird how that whole thing comes about. But anyway, they need to sell their house, so, you know, they have 30 days in escrow, uh, or else they, then it'll fall out of escrow. Uh, funny note, actually, that they might not have been able to actually fall out of escrow, depending on the, uh, contingencies that were put in place in the beginning. So, I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, but the girls move in, and they're all for independence, and that would really be great if they weren't so silly and stupid characterizations of girls. I, I really think, like, like, the girls themselves, I've seen them in other movies, they're freaking phenomenal. But the, the characters that they made these girls be just seem so whiny and so annoying. And they would have been arrested plenty of times over in real life. But this is a comedy. So, you know, you have side against side. And, um, and Zac Efron's character, you know, he's trying to find himself still. As we saw at the end of the first one, he doesn't really know what he should do. And um, the... The characters from the first one, from Zac Efron's sorority, come back a little bit in the beginning. That was really hilarious. Um, and it the message is really true that, yes, girls should be treated with more respect. But I feel this movie didn't do that. It didn't treat them with respect in just in terms of, you know, you put them in bikinis, you put them in all this kind of stuff. And it just kind of like, I, I don't feel that it hit home. Uh, overall, was it funny? Was there laugh out loud moments? Yes, not as many as the first one again. It culminates in a party at the end. And really, it's a good movie to see on Netflix or on On Demand or streaming. It's not something that I would say you need to go to the theater to see because, honestly, it's just not as good as the original. Um, it's not bad, but it's just not as good. Definitely something to see, you know, uh, late night on a Saturday or Friday night. Perfect movie for that. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like Neighbors 2 or did it fall short of your expectations and was it just not as funny as you thought it would be? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the mainstream.